So upper body, a lot of back and a lot of delts. And for the first time in a long time, I actually have arms programmed in, which is kind of fun. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Move out of my way. <laughs> oh, they got new lights. Like the lights in here used to be shit, but now they're all new, so we luck out. <laughs> and it's nice that the garage doors are open. And I have a shitty back, so I always have to wear a belt when I train upper body. I've had to use these ever since my motorcycle accident when I ripped a hole in my hand. Yeah, it's like a shitty grip drink. You don't need to tell my future husband that though. Flips are hard when you weigh a fuck ton. <laughs> yeah. The bars. Those, those are all the bars that have been bent because it's like a big power lifting gym. Actually, one time I was doing cardio because I've done all my preps here. Like, I've never prepped anywhere else. And I find it super motivating because, like, all the power lifters are like deadlifting and stuff, like, all over here. So I was on the Stairmaster, and the owner, Dan, was doing deadlifts over in the corner, like it's not, it's not set up the same way, as, but he used to be and there was a garbage can next to his platform. And he's like mid deadlift and he starts throwing up and he finishes his lift and like drops it and then just finishes throwing up. And I was like, I need to fucking work harder. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. Then he did. It's motivating to be here. But yeah, all those bars are like bars that have been like bent here. <laughs> Actually, I have the um, bench <laughs> record for my off-season weight. So it's like 210 <laughs> and the 180. Oh, you're wearing this margarita. <laughs> yeah, how are you? Good, how are you? This is margarita, she's um, Miss Fitness Canada. She's also an IFBB pro. And I think she's in prep, but I'm not. <laughs> I am in prep, I am in prep. Go date TBA, but we're working regardless. <laughs> I don't love drop sets, but I know they're good, so. And now my back feels pumped. I always have friggin'. I have a low like lat insertion, so any like lat pull downs like I really feel. Next is single arm cable row. Give me death, there ain't no other choices. When I lay down and go to sleep, I keep on hearing voices. Little whispers in my head, man, is you fake or loyal? Why no water? Death to sign a baby, pick your poison. These little demons living under I said, this, this is it. Then we're moving on to Delta, my babe. 
Although my delts are smaller than they used to be. <laughs> but that's a good thing. That's too big. When they hear the sound of the drum, they'll be saying, oh Lord, here they come. Yeah, here we come. Huh, here we come. <laughs> here we come. Here we come. Oh shit, Arnold's here. <laughs> Done with that. We gotta get out of Arnold's way, come on. <laughs> Canadian. Four. My buddy. Yeah. Four. <laughs> Wait, the mountain, right? That's the video. When you hear the sound of the drum, we'll be saying, here we come. Yeah, here we come. in this order because <laughs> this one was first then this one 2018-2019 top trainer in Canada <laughs> so if I don't train anybody anymore just online not in person and then this is motivational issue it tells my story which you guys if you're new you don't know anything about my story but I started prepping when I was going through chemo <laughs> fun fact <laughs> so I do a hundred rep drop set this isn't like my current coach's like workout because my coach gives me my training. This is from my coach before, but they're from the same team. So, you know, same samesies, but like this is evil, but fun. <laughs> so as many reps with each weight as you could possibly get. I'll be able to like put up my hair. 
how to get delts like me. <laughs> Work your fucking ass off. Ugh. You wanna try? No, I'm ready. Nope, not ready for you yet. I gotta go way back here. What are you looking for? Back in the archives. Uh, I did this photo shoot after my pro debut in Vegas, and they made me do like bodybuilding poses and shit. And this is pretty wild. I don't know what way to show it to you, but like I have a lot of muscle. But that's why I've been focusing like on trying to lose muscle in certain areas because I want to stay figure. But like they made me go into like a bodybuilding pose, and this is like my back lat spread, and it's like fucked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What a, and then, this is one where we, then when I peel my back double by. <laughs> no way. Low key bodybuilder, but not really. They had to teach me how to do all those poses because I didn't know what I was doing. Diet face gone like so wrong. I have a really bad diet face. Oh, yeah. the same shape. Yeah, like she's super fucking like skinny, eh? Like you guys get that, um... Like gaunt. Yeah, yeah. yeah I get like diet face, like bad diet face. But yeah, I get pretty shreddy. Fitness girl. Fitness girl. <laughs> Pretty in the front, not in the back. Of girls, which I rarely ever do because my arms apparently were too big last time I prepped. So, This is like how much I don't train arms. I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot to exercise. <laughs> Destiny call, open up the sky, I'm bringing it on. 
everything's changing, ring the alarm. When the smoke clears, I'll be in my final form. Finally, adversaries got my type of speed. Get the energy you I need, the best workout here, me. Give me like all the fancy equipment in the world and like, I still have like better workout here. In the heat, with just whatever shitty equipment you got, you make work. It's a vibe. <laughs> I guess it's like a welcome back vlog because like all the footage that I posted before this is like months and months and months old because I felt like I didn't have anything to say because I wasn't prepping and like uh, I don't really love bad Alicia so I'm about to get lean again so figured we'd start documenting now before we start prep right now we're on like a 10 week I guess you can call it like a mini cut then we're gonna bring my calories back up reduce my cardio again and then start prep for 2023 and Johnny, Kathleen, my coach and I have decided we're gonna do a whole season in 2023 so even if I win my first show because you guys know I always go to win um, I'm still gonna do multiple shows just because I haven't competed in so long and now we gotta get the judges familiar with my face again and uh, make an impact hopefully I'm gonna consider the next season my pro debut redo and then my rookie season so yeah, here we are. Starting to document it now with a uh, superstar behind the camera, Eddie. <laughs> but yeah, lots more to come. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Make sure you comment. But yeah, subscribe, please. <laughs> I want to grow this channel, so let's uh, follow this uh, season in 2023.